pleased, obviously, to get the win and into tomorrow's final. Yeah, definitely. Um, good to get in the finals, knowing that today was going to be a big game for us and it was set up to be that. So we're in the grand finals and that's a great tick for us. So And I think also some of the... Uh, combinations or the consolidation of combinations also showed us what we're capable of and our strengths. And you've obviously spoken about not yet having a starting seven. How do you feel that progressed tonight in terms of your own thoughts? Yeah, I thought they were solid, all seven of them actually. And um, I think I'm understanding now where different individuals fit and sit and the chemistry uh, that's required. So we've got a better good good combinations happening so um, as the series has gone on I'm learning more about uh, I think what works and what doesn't for us. You pleased with the progression through the quarters, won the first three and just tipped in the fourth? Yeah I mean that's massive for us, our numbers are probably bigger than we've ever done and really positive for us so there's a lot that we can be really pleased about and I think also just being better than yesterday which is a bit of a motto so that's a good tick for us. Um, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. On the through court into the shooting circle, obviously high volume and high percentages tonight. Yep. That. Yeah, very much so. Uh, we've always said around volume feeds. Another thing is the gains. I'm not too sure where the gains sit, but I'm assuming they must have been up or quite high and the turnover's really low. So our metrics that we've been following is coming to fruition and, you know, we've just got to keep chugging along on it. And looking at the game in the context, obviously a, a very strong mixed side, um, pleasing to how you were able to go up against the athletics of them in their circle and all around the court. Yeah, and that defence end, eh? they're tough, eh? Yeah, super tough. Blame. Yeah. <laughs> Hard work in there. Yeah, yeah. Me, talk me through how it was for you. Yeah, I think coming off yesterday, obviously playing the men's was, um, you know, really tough. So coming against the mix tonight was even um, harder, I guess, um, pulling up after yesterday. But definitely a good grind, and they gave us a good run tonight. Talk me through your series so far. This Whitney's kind of come mm. and is on fire. Talk me through how you're feeling out there. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, just the opportunity to play centre and... Um, you know, I haven't played it in a while, but really enjoying just building connections and combos and just having a bit more of a free run out there and getting to play some more defence, so it's really cool. Do you feel like you're, obviously, looks like you're full of confidence, do you feel that way out there? Yeah, I mean, I get to play with some awesome people, so they make my job a lot easier, but um, yeah, it's just enjoyable and just having fun running out there. And how are you, and like you spoke about those combinations, how are you enjoying them specifically with you know, the likes of Gina and um, Grace? Yeah, I think they're definitely building and, um, you know, we're getting really strong in them, building up for com games. So feeling definitely really strong with Gina in there, you know, our release of the ball and just the speed of the ball is really good. Um, and with Shan as well, it's almost seamless when um, we make the changes, which is what we want. So, yeah, it's going really well. How helpful is it to have Maya playing like she did tonight in terms of her court play and helping and obviously her volume as well? Yeah, well, Maya's played a full um, game mm. at guard tonight, so super proud of that girl just, you know, mm. getting into it and just running hard for the whole four quarters and for her to play as well as she did, um, you know, at guard for the whole game was, you know, really awesome and positive for her. Yeah, and that was Maya's first full game at yeah. Just talk a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, look, that's massive. Um, obviously, coming from a goal shoot position and for her to put four quarters out, the volume really high, but she's smart. Um, and what she makes up, she may not have a lot of movement, but her movement is uh, precision. And it's also relative to the goal shoot and making sure that there's the connection. So sh strategic wise, she's um, fantastic out there. I'm really pleased. I think, uh, you know, her coming out A and Z and then coming into here and producing that is massive. But to some degree, I've always known that. She's always been reliable wearing the black dress and really consistent and somebody that we've 100% depended on. So today's another example of what she can do. And just finally, question for you both. We'll start with you, Knowles, looking ahead to the final up against the men again. You obviously know what they're going to be bringing. Uh, yeah. It's an exciting time. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, last night when we looked back on the video, we were exposed defensively uh, and I understand now what they did to us that pulled us apart. What, it is actually hard playing against the men because if it was females and you pull it apart and they go wide, they don't have the strength or the speed of the ball. 
whereas the men do so you know we get turned inside out so we clear I'm clearer now as to what we need to do to combat that uh, from seeing what we did yesterday but it's our ability to execute and still do that grind which we did in parts in the attacking end so uh, it's, it's going to be good this is what it's all about and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow as well. I think, like Nolza said, we've um, learnt a lot from when we played them yesterday. They did pull us really wide. Um, but I think we've kind of played against the mix tonight and we've mm. got a bit of a feel and we know what we need to do. And I think tonight we were taking them on a bit better mm. um, and we were a bit more fearless and a bit more patient on attack and just waiting for um, things to come. So I think if we do that tomorrow against the men and just hold on to the ball, then I think we'll be all right. Mm.